Hey, welcome back. We're at day nine. Today we're going to focus on balance, strength, and core. All of those are synced in to one. When we have a strong core, we have really good balance, right? It all goes hand in hand. So today we are also dealing with the same amount of weights or the same type of weights that you had yesterday. I've got eight pounds to 25 pounds, also a kettlebell. Once again, if you don't have that kettlebell, that's okay. Just make sure you have a heavy dumbbell. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with a nice warm up right here. We're gonna big, big arm circles, front and back. Core engaged, get into your lifting stance a little bit right here, soft bend in those knees, and let's pull it back this way. And we're gonna come forward and back. So make sure you have proper footwear for this one. There's no jumping. There are some kind of skater, there are some kind, there are skaters later on, but we're gonna take them kind of easy and slow. It's more about the move. Let's get down these Cossacks. So for today, I am wearing my barefoot shoes because I wanna feel the ground beneath me. It also helps connect your toes to your brain. Everything fires and um, enables you to get, get more balance basically. So let's go ahead and roll back up right here, right? Let's get nice and wide here into a nice big deep hip opener, side to side, core engage. We're just gonna sashay side to side. Good. And let's go ahead and press up. Push your um, back up towards the ceiling right here. Let your head fall and come back up. Nice little short little warm up. Um, our first round of Tabata. We are doing Tabata today, by the way. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four rounds. So nice and easy. And once you kind of get that balance, usually by the third round, your brain knows what's going on and then it finds itself. It connects those uh, neurons, right? It fires them up. So our first exercise is gonna be oil drills. So I'm using my kettlebell because I like the grip heavier the weight, easier for you to balance, all right? But you're also gonna be working, you shouldn't be feeling this in your lower back. If you're doing that, you're going too far over and maybe just pull it back a little bit. So you wanna get that weight, right? So shoulders back, chest proud, and you want that weight, soft bend in that standing knee, you want that weight just right over that foot. And you do not need to be tapping your toes with it. That's going way too far down. So be mindful of that. So we're gonna go on one side for that first round. And then we have a squat to halo with a knee up. That's too heavy. So I like to hold on to, you do a smaller kettlebell or a dumbbell. So right here, I've got a 20. I'm gonna go to a squat and then halo all around my head with a knee up. And then continue, we're alternating that knee up and down, okay? So have that weight close to you. Make sure you've got your towel, water, all that good stuff ready to go. And let's get started. <clears throat> Comes up, comes up quick, that 20 seconds, huh? There we Thank you. 
10. Good. Next up, we've got a single leg row. So you're gonna have this leg just up right here. All right, it doesn't have to be, if you don't have that balance, that's okay. You just have a little tap right here on the floor. You wanna try to bend over right here and we're coming up. Now with this row, you're not going super heavy like we typically would for a bent over row because we have that foundation nice and strong. This one we're not. So you have to find that little good in between, okay? Then we're gonna to switch to the other side. Next part of this Tabata is gonna be your other leg. And now we're just raising it up. Light weights right here, coming down and up. Hit more of those traps. So let's hit that back. Hit that back, good. Think about your weights. Try to stick with the same weight. I always tell you unless I tell you otherwise. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. also working on that core, holding that stance. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall, way too hard to drop. Stop clocks on the speed bag. Every yell under pressure, no jet lag. This is greater than trophies and saluted flags. Titles of fame, the cost is paid. Yeah, I, I, I carry the cross I made. Deal with the dealer. Baby, the hand was played. New level, new stage. Learning leader to legend. Now tell me what's my next stage. Yeah. I said the champ is here, Swiss gears. We keeping haters in the rear. At the blood, sweat, and tears in my go so near. I said we're making it so clear. It's a day, we break through. 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 Good. 
Next up, we got renegade kickbacks. So you're gonna have your lighter dumbbells. You're gonna get into that plank position. Pull up, kick back, bring it back down. Pull up, kick back, bring it back down. Really try and work on the strengthening the core. I prefer you to do that without getting up for your kickbacks. If you're still struggling with your core strength, it's too difficult, what you can do, count maybe three or four counts into that plank position, then one and one. And then again, just to slow it down a little bit, that may be a little easier for some of you. And then we have around the world abs. So you're gonna have your lighter weights again. You're gonna have your weights right here. Okay, I'm pressing my lower back down into the mat. Your weights are not coming back here, guys. Protect your shoulders, protect your neck. You're gonna be right here, you're gonna look at your weights, then you're gonna come up and bring it down. And then again, nice and slow and easy on that, right? Always, always with our setups, any time we're kind of rolling up, coming down and up the ground, off the mat, we always wanna try to get vertebrae by vertebrae each time, right? Here we go, so get into that renegade stance. Widen your stance for stability. up for me that's what my tarot said been pumping out pheromones and wearing red young jerry lala king but they're not aware of it forty dollars to show money that's what they stole from me blow it all bowling guess i roll funny go find me a snow bunny ask if this cold world's making the nose runny she melted i wear a cape that is velvet couldn't see it she felt it see it all like i'm elvish move my hips like i'm elvis i don't pitch it i sell it couldn't picture me jealous turning fans into zealots tuning in when i tell it there were 15 people at the gig saying, oh my God, what fun this is. 
Did it all, did it right, did it big Yeah, buddy, we were loving it New cards, new deck, new life King of Cups, he comes up right Always, always, always <sighs> That was good mm. Okay We've got all um, body weight on this first one. We have an eight point plank, okay? So we want eight point plank. Your hands, elbows, knees, and feet are gonna stay on the mat, okay? Then you're gonna come up through your hips. Now the furthest away your elbows are, the harder this is, the more intense it'll be. So it's really up to you. You definitely wanna be shaking now, because when we come up, we're right here. All right, we're tucking in our pelvic floor, engaging our core. We have no bottoms in the air. You shouldn't be, basically, you shouldn't be like this. It's not doing anything for you. So make sure you press those elbows away from your body and hold. It's only 20 seconds, yes you can. Then I got my big 25 over here. You want your big weight? The bigger, the better. Working on our balance here and core strength. You're gonna bring that leg up and again, other leg. Each time we do this, we make sure that that placement, our hand is underneath our shoulder as we would a plank, okay? We have that weight near you. Let's do it all on the floor. Make sure you get that nice cushiony yoga mat. Ready to go.
kicking in Beef with all the girls Bullshit dripping off the chin Good, good, good work. All right, we just have two more circuits, a Tabata, two more Tabatas. So first we got bicep wall sit, okay? Press your shoulders back, you got your dumbbells, and you're just right here, 20 seconds. Easy peasy, right? And then we have a standing press with the knees up. So you're gonna be right here. You're gonna press them up. Sorry, you're gonna start here. Press down, alternate again. Core locked and engaged. I want you going heavy here, okay? I mean, nothing crazy, crazy. I'm not doing 25s or anything crazy like that, but I may with the 20s, because it's gonna be a strict press, and it's also gonna kind of strengthen, you're strengthening your core through the heavy weight, okay? So the heavier you go that you're capable of doing, if your strict press is typically like 15 or 12 or 20, whatever, try and stick with that and challenge yourself. If you kind of feel like you're toppling over, it's okay, just kind of, you know, um, get, get a different weight, because it's more about balance than the strict press itself, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Da, 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 da. Thank you. 
never make it this far. They hate it, they never believe me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah. Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got them picked another pieces. Gotta me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it because you all cap like. Hold up. I shoot my shot. Wait, hold up. I'm really about to run this. Go up. You know it's all net when it go up. One more. Okay. We got some skaters. We're going to slow them down though because you're going to take a little pause. Uh, each side, work on that balance. Use our arms too. We're gonna round our arms like this, all right? So really engage that core and utilize that in upper body strength as well. So you're gonna be here and here. So that's that pause, that's that hold. Don't speed it up. We have reverse leg, sorry, reverse lunge with the leg raise. So you have your dumbbells right here. We're gonna alternate it down right here, raise it up and then keep going, we're not alternating that. Never mind. As soon as I said that, I was like, no, wait, Diana, we're not alternating. So that first round, you're gonna stay on that one side. You're just gonna have that lunge, and you're gonna come up and squeeze up to the top, and that's it. And then we go to the uh, next round, to bottom two, we go to the other side, okay? And then we are done, then we are done. Ha-ha, uh -huh. All right, here we go, grab those light weights. Almost like anchors. Moving fast, already gone. Yeah, but you bring me back. Try to double cross me, dog. Just let me relax. Stop assuming what we doing. Keep it moving what we doing.
Done. Good work, good work. Whew. All right, let's go ahead and take this one leg. And one more balance right here. Let's stretch it out. Core gauge, lean over to that side. Nice and easy. And come back again. Nice and tall, long. Press your chest back. Good. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Nice and long. And go to the other side. If you're struggling with your balance, we always gotta work on it. You could always do anything that I'm doing with those weights, without weights. But like I said, sometimes, feel nice and wide right here. It's gonna press that shoulder over and twist. Sometimes having weight to kind of have you use it, using your weight as like an anchor really can help you with that balance on some of the moves, but some of them maybe not, right? Maybe those skaters, you're just like, uh-uh. I'm good on my own, no weights needed. it. So, Whew. same thing with those renegade kickbacks. Oh, we just go through the motions and then bring it back. Because the most important part of this whole work workout was your balance and core strength and really thinking about it because I want you to get, get that in a habit throughout your day, using your core, engaging, and we're talking, sitting, whatever we're doing, instead of not only in the workout, because if it's not repetitive for you and it's not something that your brain is like firing up and triggering to do on its own, you may not be doing it when you're working out, right? And that's when injuries happen. So just be mindful, listen to your body, all that good stuff. A little short cool down really for this because it wasn't anything too crazy and intense today. Um, so let's get ready for tomorrow, right? Remember, rest up, drink lots of water, stay on the course, stay with it, and you know, we're all gonna be feeling amazing. Hopefully you all will throughout this whole challenge and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and give me um, a deep inhale up. Exhale down, one more inhale. Exhale down, good work guys. Remember, comment below, tell me what you think. Y'all have a great day, my little rock stars.